Greetings to you all, and welcome to Red Alert 2 One Unit Challenge. This time we'll be limiting ourselves to only building Grand Cannons. Yes, that fabled French unit. Just, just stay with me. Rules are simple. Our opponent is set to brutal difficulty. Base defences can be built. But only the Grand Cannon. All miners can be built, but only through the purchasing of refineries. We play on official tournament map A because it's theoretically the fairest. And other than that, we can't build a single unit. The only thing we can build that deals any damage is the Grand Cannon, which is France's unique structure. Right. Well then, let's go. As you might imagine, if we're going to destroy our enemy with base defences, we need to set up our base somewhere in the enemy's proximity. Now, Grand Cannons are an odd building. They have a sort of AoE on their shot. They have long range, but they have a dead zone too close to them where they can't fight back. And up the tech tree, they are in exactly the same place as Prism Towers. Which means in order to get them, I need a power plant, a refinery, and a radar. Do not need a barracks. And do not need a battle lab, it's not higher up the tech tree. What that means is you can get them out surprisingly early. Although I've always considered it more that you can get the Prism Tower out surprisingly early. In, in, in my mind, Prism Tower is a battle lab tech structure. But it's not, it's a radar tech structure. Tier 2, I suppose we'll call it. Seems odd that we can build Prism Towers, and then we need way more development and research in order to unlock Prism Tanks, which is a mobile Prism Tower, but I don't know. Soviets can make Tesla Troopers before they can make Flak Troopers. So explain that. Construction complete. New construction options. Destination commander. Building. Oh, you're probably used to this by now, but when I say radar, I mean Air Force Command. But if I don't build any planes from it, then conceptually it's just a radar. I make the same mistake every single time when I play Allies. Construction complete. Right, construction we can now build the Grand Cannons. Build. I am going to be building a barracks. Why? Because I want walls. Potentially. Not guaranteed. But it's very cheap, so why not? Construction complete. It's not like I have anything else to do with the free time. I suppose I can build a power plant. I'm probably going to need one later. Grand cannons cost a lot, a lot, a lot, and they build very slow. But as long as I don't get blown off the face of the earth in the next couple of seconds, I should be all right. That's a uh, war factory. Construction. An allied war factory, no less. You know what? Aggressive power plant. Construction complete. Building. Right. I'll start with that then, shall I? This is going to build a harvester. It'll waste its time. This is going to be the easiest thing I've ever done. The enemy just... Wow, you one shot a barracks with this thing. Why is this thing so good against buildings? I win! Repairing. In my mind... The, oh, lost. wait. I might lose. Building. Low power. This is what you do when you're low power. You spin frantically. Okay, I didn't know this. Construction complete. That's a good comedy. Repairing. Low power. You, you might think I'm about to die, but... Complete. I'm okay. Building. Unit lost. Building. You are victorious. Because that's coming. Player defeated. It's guaranteed. And if you're in any doubt that I could have won that, if it wasn't a short game, then I don't know what to tell you. It's just... I made a mistake, I'd replay it, and within five minutes we, we'd win. It's fine. Wow. I didn't expect that, which is why I left it to so late. I thought it was going to be a, a hard-fought slog. Apparently it can one-shot a barracks and three-shot a construction yard. I didn't realise it was that good against buildings, because the circumstances for a Grand Cannon to fire on a building never really come up much in nature. But 
I mean, there you go. That was pretty good. Now. Now, now, now. That is another one done for the Red Alert 2 one unit challenge. This is the point where I look at the remaining units and I start to panic. I'm panicking a great deal. Maybe I'll share some thoughts with you. If we go through the unique things, we've done the Black Eagle, Paratroopers are GIs. We've done the Grand Cannon, we've done the Tank Destroyers. Ha! <laughs> nice. Uh, Demolition Trucks is a funny one. Probably doable. Desolators can't be done, as far as I understand it. Desolators do not deal any damage to buildings. They cannot be made to attack buildings. The radiation they pump into the ground doesn't damage buildings. And even if you force target an area before a building is built, and then a building is built on top of that area, so that the desolator is being forced to shoot the building, it still doesn't do any damage. So I don't think it's possible for desolators. Terrorist is going to be a disaster. Tesla tanks is done already. Maybe we can do demo trucks? He's getting sketchy. Other ideas I've got, I could try Tanya. Tanya's a very hit and miss. She's either... It's going to be an early attack with Tanya. She's either going to take the base single-handedly or it's going to be nigh on impossible. Black Troopers is so unbelievably bad at destroying buildings. You've no idea. Hmm. I'm going to do demo trucks. And that's probably going to be a complete disaster, but it'd be a funny one. Right? Yeah, demo trucks. Next time I'm going to be doing demo trucks. Hopefully you'll join me for that. And I shall see you then. I don't know why I thought I'd show you my thought process. I usually do this process off camera. Every time I complete one of these, I think through in my head what's left and what's reasonable to do. I don't usually put it on camera, but uh, I, I don't know. There's some insight for you. Enjoy. Demo trucks next. Hopefully you'll join me for that. And I shall see you then.